Hello. Oh my god. It's fucking goddamn fingerprints. <laughs> so, I thought I would do a video while uh, I wait for my Minecraft server to come back online and do a follow up on that. So, this is uh, my tablet, Android 3.1. 3.2. So I have a bunch of apps on here. Um, so it's an Asus Transformer. Pretty thin. Pretty light. Uh, it's just pretty much the same kind of, you know, weight and weight and thinness as the iPad 1. I mean, that was pretty thin already. Um, so I got a bunch of apps on here. You know, I got Galcam, which is real nice. Plants vs. Zombies. Battle Hearts, real cool. Um, so this is a 1.0. Um, 1.0 gigahertz, Tiger 2, a gig of RAM. I think it's a gig of RAM. Um, with uh, Android 3.2, and just announced that it will get be getting ice cream sandwich uh, soon. Um, so you got really basic stuff. Um, got a bunch of Google stuff, Reddit stuff. What did, what did I launch? You got the Amazon App Store, which I'm starting to not like anymore. You get your free games and all that stuff. This comes with a lot of new phones now, pre-installed. So this is where you get your plant. The only place here you get Plants vs Zombies, Peggle, and uh, the, the Angry Birds without um, shit. Angry Birds without God damn it ads. Let's see if we got any updates. Nope. Let's see if we can see that. So all these, all these are my games. I got, you know, there's Age of Zombies, a bunch of games on here I got. Usually most of these are free. Um, what else? Let's look at the market. So I, I don't understand why people think it's just really slow, but I, I like it a lot. It's real nice and fast. So it's different from the, the, um, the normal phone operate uh phone look just like you know an iPad would look it's just different um so you know look at this reddit app so you got really um subreddits on the side then you got your main articles here yay what the hell okay let's read this out here hi i'm Allison i left reddit i left my reddit open when i went out for a shower Awesome. Okay, some women have them and some don't. For those women who do, please let a cue for this. Okay. Okay. I do not understand. Maybe it's above me. I don't know. Anyway, that's Reddit. You got Google Goggles, Kindle. Kindle app's okay. Uh, Google Reader. F f um... Fringcraster is really nice. It's the only good Facebook app. The f default Facebook app sucks so bad. And it's tablet optimized too, which is real nice. So, you know, just like any other uh, tablet app. Come up here. Oh, that's new. Comes up on this side. Blah, blah, blah. Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Google Search, Google Docs. Um, so I got Nightly Firebo Firefox. It's supposed to have... Um, uh, Flash, but it doesn't. I think that's in like UX or something. They don't really for Android. So okay, let's install it. Maybe this is it. So I think Android tablets get way too much wrap. This wrap. I mean, I like it a lot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It does feel a little bit cheaper. Uh, this is four hundred dollars compared to the iPad that's a uh, five hundred dollars. You can see right here. Hi. Uh, right here, a couple other bleeds in, um, bleeds in the black light. Let's see here. Let's do test it. I like test it in that, that website. It's really good site. They're a little bit, those guys, a little bit more of a fan, I bought, fan, uh, Apple fanboys, but they do good articles and their videos are pretty good. So, it does have the same panel, the IPS panel as the iPad, uh, which is made by Hitachi. And, let's see. It's supposed to get really great, yeah, viewing angles. It's a little slow. Fire the Firefox browser is not the best. Let's see here. Oh, 
Okay, that's cool. Let's see here. Let's stream this. This should be flash. Nope, flash not ready. Yes, just close the tabs. Um, what else? Okay, you know, got Amazon, Gold, uh, Galaxy, NASA. This cool. This is Splash Top, which I can remote control my desktop. Uh, but I don't have it on. It's real nice. Uh, play video games on that. Apps I got Congregate, uh, um, Fruit Ninja. I got a little pocket. I can need to buy this game. This is a Minecraft Pocket. So yeah. Um, Dungeon Defenders, uh, Flight Control, Tetris. Tetris is okay. A lot of there's a lot of software not optimized for tablet, which I don't like. Uh, Plants vs Zombies. No Peggle. It's uh, Angry Birds. Here's a Tigra Zone, which is that NVIDIA specific uh, place. This is where all these games, you know, for Tigra, Tigra 2 uh, chipsets. I think it's pretty much all the tablets and a couple phones, like the Atrix. So then I got some games, you know, Fruit Ninja, uh, Brack Breaker, Dungeon uh, Defenders, which. Uh, it's Unreal, which is real nice. Uh, a couple other games, you know, Girl or Bob, Galaxy on Fire. This one right here. It's an okay game. Says so is it Vendetta. So I think is that. Um, let's look at this game. This game's really fun. So I got two speakers, left and right. Um, Sleep buttons, value buttons, uh, front cam, I think it's VGA, and 5 megapixel uh, rear facing camera, a little textured back. Um, you got 3.5 uh, millimeter jack, I think that's a, I think that might be a mic, and then uh, mini HDMI, uh, micro SD, and this is where you plug in that uh, the laptop dock uh, for the thingy. Oh yeah, and speakers, stereo speakers run right here. Yeah, one right right here. Right here. Okay, let's do a battle. We'll start one. So this is kinda like wow a little bit. So you got a uh, a healer, a warrior, you know, more like a tank. And a wizard. Graphics look real nice. This is also on, um, shit. Also on, um, what do you call it? iPad and all that stuff. Street sheet, let's get out of here. Um, what I don't like about it, you know, the it's really just the app, app, atmosphere, the app ecosystem is still not there like I would like. There's just too many cool things on the um, iPad and iOS that just need to become there's really no killer app that's only on Android um, Rob Text is really good that's a there's not much really here but that's the uh, my tablet 3.2 Asus Transformer so let's look at my phones So this is the Galaxy 2. I have it plugged in right now. I don't use it anymore. Uh, this is the Captive 8 uh, for AT&T. I don't have a SIM card anymore because I don't use it anymore. Um, it's 1 gigahertz. Um, I'm having problems with it, so I had to get a new one. It's an okay phone. It's just really sluggy. I just, you know, it's not like other iPhone, um, or it's not like other Android phones. Um, usually... Samsung has a, tw it's called a uh, Twitch, TouchWiz um, UI, it's kind of like bulked on, it's, I don't know, I don't like these custom UIs that the phone developers have. So, which is really weird, this is really stupid, so, so I can, so, so I have like, uh, Bejeweled, uh, Modern Combat 2, which is game, a bunch of Gameloft games on this, 
that do not work on this, which is so fucking stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Um, since this is dual core Tigra 2, pretty much designed by NVIDIA, you know, pretty much for games and all that stuff. But this, um, nope, this is a lot worse. It's like, uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, uh, and you got a bunch of weird stuff. Um, see, it's sort of a... The app store is a lot different. You know, you can buy books and movies. Let's see what updates I need. So, this... Uh, all the Samsung... Um, so, this phone and the tablet have a Gorilla Glass, which is heavy-duty uh, scratch-resistance glass, which is real nice. And I'll show you my Galaxy 2 next. Let's update these. I like the audiobooks. Um, let's see here. So this this item is not available in your in your country or carrier. So it it distinguishes by carrier, which is so fucking stupid. So EA has a thing uh, with carriers, which is so fucking stupid. It actually restricts a lot of fucking apps. E, I I can't get any e apps um, EA apps under this. But there's not many. Um. So you know you got Fruit Ninja. Uh, Nova, let's, um, it's a little bit slower, a lot of people had, a, like, the GPS had a problem, I don't know, I mean, I liked it, and then I rooted it, and rommed it too f bad, and I think I, these, these capacitive touch buttons don't work when it gets hot, um, it's a good phone, it's four inch, uh, it's four inches Super AMOLED, so it's real nice, this is really on, um, God, I hope it's really coming in, because I'm looking at this on my flip camera, and it looks like shit. Uh, it's on, um, lowest brighting, so we just turn it up, crank it up, there we go, there we go, nice and bright. Um, one thing I like do like about the Android, uh, ecosystem is the live, uh, wallpapers, which are real nice, so, um, the Nexus, the, the tablet has, uh, has a few, but it's super, the apps are, need to be optimized, and some of these aren't. Like, I would be running, um, let's see. This one's a really cool one. Uh, I just updated it. This is this, um, zombie one. So, like, different settings and all that stuff. Change the population. Let's just change it to default. Okay. Set wallpaper. So, it's, it's all live. It's introduced a long time ago, but, you know, fucking Apple still doesn't have this, and it's really cool. So, you know, I could just drop a nuke. Interact with a wallpaper too, which is real nice. Um, got a clock task manager. One thing a lot of people don't understand is I don't know care who you are. Those task killers on the app store, they really don't do anything good. They're really bad. I've read a lot, bunch of things. I mean, they look nice, but fuck that shit. Um, let's look at Fruit Ninja. Come on, there we go. Half brick. Welcome back, Caboose. Let's play a game. I love Fruit Ninja. Fuck, I I have the HD version on my. Let's do Zen mode. Yeah, let's look at that super nice screen. I actually have this on my iPhone 3G too. I have that. Great game. Looks the screen. I like this Samsung um, screens. They're really nice. Now you know, fucking Apple's about you know pixel density, but I mean this this screen looks so gorgeous. And this is a foreign screen, one gigahertz. Oh yeah, uh, eight hundred by four eighty. So I mean, you know, I think it's two. 50 DPI. So it's a gorgeous looking screen. The only problem is it's that it's uh, out in the sunlight. You gotta crank up the brightness. Come on.
There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get out of that exit. Um, yeah, what else? So, um, so no front facing camera. The Galax this is the Galaxy One that came out uh, last year, and this is the AT&T variant. It's the only Samsung Galaxy One that doesn't have a uh, front facing camera. It does have a five uh, megapixel um, uh, front rear facing camera speaker. Uh, this is hard plastic. Feels kind of ceramic like. Um, this phone is actually is thinner, I think it is, than the iPhone 4. Um, got a microphone, replaceable back. Uh, what else? Volume buttons, all that. Let's look at my new phone. Samsung Galaxy 2 that came out a couple weeks ago. Really like it a lot. Here we go. So, oh, so, this is so funny. It's, I don't know why they did this. So, they got the, uh, the charger for this is on the bottom, in the th and 3.5 millimeters on the top, but on my Galaxy, they're both on the, my old Captivate, they're both on the top. So, uh, look at them side by side. Let's turn up the brightness. There we go. So you could even tell that this this screen, even though it's bigger and has a sl it's a 4.3 inch screen, Super AMOLED, but it's uh, you know lower DPI, but you fucking really can't tell by it. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit more jerky on the Captivate. A little bit more smoother. Looks like an apps. See, I don't like this like this this back color they get. They get it's really stupid. It's really iPhoney like. Uh, it's that touch wedge shit, which is really stupid. So this is a. I think this is touch wedge three, and this is touch wedge two or one. So with this, I can just constantly scroll around. Um, A lot of different apps. This is Gingerbread. This is Froyo. Uh, there's a strong chance I can get Iceberg Cream Sandwich on this, which would be real nice because that supports dual core. This is uh, 1.2 gigahertz uh, dual core, a uh, gig of RAM, which is real nice. There we go. Um, yeah, so look at the marketplace. This was so fucking stupid. Um, come on, retry. God damn it, I turned off the Wi Fi. Let's update that. Yeah, there's a bunch of free uh, crap where that. Oh my god, this is why I hate Android so bad. It's like. The, the Android App Store just like crashes. But I don't know. I don't know. But I, I like, really like this phone a lot. Um. Try not to put much apps on here. Uh, this is a default case uh, it's by Casemate, which is real nice. Comes with a, a little uh, stand right here. Come on. So it's real nice. Um, what else? What else? You know, it's, it's pretty much the same configuration as the uh, Captivate or the Captivate. So I got like the volume buttons on this side. Uh, Sleeper buttons right here. I like it like that because I, I am a little bit left-hander. So it still gets that capacitive buttons. Um, what else? What else? Oh, um, right now I'm using this protective film that I might get rid of. I don't know if you can see it, but the scratches I'm making right here are staying on with the plastic. You, you might see a little bit of scratching... But it's like, it's getting real rough. It's not as smooth. And I think I might get rid of it. Because this, 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 this Gorilla Glass is pretty strong. They did a, there's a video up on YouTube comparing the, the durability of the iPhone 4S versus this. The Samsung Galaxy. I don't know if it was the European version or what variant. But 
it's pretty much all, they're all the same. This like the gra the glass didn't break. It got a little bit of damage. Still worked. The iPhone. 4S is just like shattered. The glass was all shattered. You can barely even use it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, there's a little LED flash. Woo, brighter than the sun, which is, which is real nice. Um, what I don't like about this in the Android so far is the default browser is kind of shitty. Um, let's turn that off. Default browser is kind of shitty. It's like why does a browser have a brightness level? Why doesn't it just stay all uh, stay with the th other things? There's other browsers for it, but a lot of them suck. Um, so this is HPS 2A, H HSPA plus, and so uh, you know it theoretically it's supposed to be faster, but really it isn't. So let's do a speed test right now. Where the hell is it? Where's my speed test on this? Oh, here we go. So this actually is using this. My phone right here is actually using the same SIM card as this. I get, did it a real nice job of uh, making me. Uh... Oh, that's real nice. That's real nice and fast. It's because I'm really deep inside. Anyways, let's look at some results. No thanks. Um. So it looks okay. So the fourth was a good when we. That was the last time I did it. So the fourth I had two megabit uh, down, one up at 180, and then on this, uh, let's do the megabits. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh yeah. So so the download's about the same. But the upload's a lot better, and the ping is a lot better. Um, I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, so this phone, this Captivate, I mean, it's an okay phone. Um, I don't know why it's not charging. Turn off that. Turn off that. Um, it's really cheap, you know. It's a cheap Android phone. Uh, it has Froyo, Flash, and all that stuff. And... This is the Samsung Galaxy 2. God, I almost forgot something. It's a pretty cool uh, phone. It's actually been out for a couple months. International. It just came out in America recently. Uh, close those out. What else? What else? What else? What I want to say. This is a gorgeous screen. The, the AT&T variant is 4.3 inches. While the... The Sprint and T-Mobile... Are 4.5 and they're WiMAX and LTE. Now this is HSPA uh, plus. Why does it keep on doing that? And I uh, think that's it. Oh yeah, so let's look at Friendcaster, a uh, the default app. So it's the same app for. Um... Oh, I had my on my tablet, but it's just it's optimized different, which is real nice. So I think that's it. Um, nothing else. Um, and I guess I'll catch you on the flip side.